and welcome again to Cottage Talk. I am Russ Goldman. Thank you, as always, for listening to the show. This episode is strictly just going to be a podcast. I will be doing several shows, obviously, throughout the month and throughout the rest of the season. Some are just going to be recorded, and this is one of them. And it's a new segment that I'm introducing, calling Fulham Player of the Month. And this is obviously for the month of February. So what I'm going to be doing in the next 15 to 20 minutes, I'll be sharing actually some poll results that were on Twitter in regards to what the Fulham supporters were thinking, who they voted for, for Fulham Player of the Month. And on top of that, I have several comments on Facebook and several Facebook groups along with the Cottage Talk Facebook page, comments on who the Fulham supporters feel was Fulham Player of the Month. So that's what this show is all about. As always, please do subscribe on YouTube and Apple Podcasts. It does help other Fulham supporters find us. Okay, so let's get to it. Before we talk about Fulham Player of the Month and the results and the comments, I want to share my thoughts on Fulham in the draw, getting Manchester United at Old Trafford in the FA Cup in the quarterfinals. And my first thought on this was, bring it. I don't fear Manchester United. I think Fulham match up very well against Manchester United. We know how well Fulham play away from Craven Cottage. I don't have any issue with this. It's interesting because obviously the easy way is to say, well, I wish they ended up playing Grimsby or playing Blackburn. Well, I say if you truly want to go far in the cup and potentially win the cup, you have to beat the best. This is one of the best, along with Man City. I just didn't want to face Man City. I think Fulham can beat Manchester United at Old Trafford. I like the challenge. I actually think it's good for the league because I think it just keeps everything at a high level. They're facing a top opponent. I would much rather them face Manchester United in the cup than facing Grimsby. That's just my thoughts on that. You can agree or disagree with me on that. Feel free to tweet me your thoughts on it. But I'm fine with this. Listen, if they deserve to go to the semifinal and go to Wembley, they might as well face one of the better clubs, and that's Manchester United. So let's go ahead and let's move on in the cup by beating Manchester United. There's no reason why they can't do this. So I'm not against them facing Manchester United. I'm for it. That's just my thoughts on that. Okay, so let's get to talking about player of the month. And I'm now introducing that this on Cottage Talk. And we're going to do the month of February. And what's interesting about this, and I I thought about this after I decided to do this. Well, I think the way Fulham are built, you could say that the team is more important. And yes, the team is more important. But I think... It's also fine to highlight special moments, special players during a month, during a match. We do man of the match. So why don't we do Cottage Talks version of Fulham Player of the Month, and we're going to do it for February. So let's start with the Twitter poll that I did yesterday. And it's interesting. I have a good amount of votes, and I'm looking at 339 votes, and the poll was... Who was your Fulham Player of the Month for February? And the four players I listed were Tim Ream, Manor Solomon, Bern Leno, and William. I thought those four were worthy of Fulham Player of the Month. You could mention also Kenny Tete. There are other players as well, but I wanted to focus on these four. And so I'm now going to share the results of the poll, and they're very interesting. Like I said, you have a good amount of votes here. Manor Solomon got 63.4% of the votes. Tim Ream, 28.6%. Bern Leno, only 6.2%. And William got 1.8%. Very interesting. And I understand why the vote went this way, why Manor Solomon got the amount of votes that he got. Because when you look at the goals scored and the impact that they have four goals in four games is tremendous. However, I don't think you can 
look at the impact of this month that Tim Ream gave foam. So I'm looking at it in both ways. I can see the value of Tim Ream. I can also see the value in Menor Solomon. And that's what's interesting in these poll results. But I think there is an argument to be made for Bern Leno as well. I thought Bern Leno has played very well for Fulham during this month, during the entire season. He could be up for Fulham player this season. I don't think Fulham are in the position that they are right now in the league, which is seventh, without an incredible goalkeeper in Bern Leno. Now, nothing against Marek Rodak, and I thought Marek Rodak has been good in the Cup. I don't think he was as good as he has been in the last match, but there is a huge difference when you go to Leno. Leno is a goalkeeper that might be one of the best in the league right now. So for me, he could be up for Fulton player of the season and I think deserves a nod for being mentioned with the other two for Fulton player of the month. Now, the fourth one is interesting because I thought William has played very well, scored a great goal against Nottingham Forest, and once again, should be up for Fulham player of the season. What a surprise he has been. His impact affects so many other players on the pitch. Now, the argument maybe against William is that he was quiet in a few matches, not really at his level, so maybe that's why he didn't get as many votes here. But you also have to look at the other three players mentioned. That's probably why William's not getting the votes that I thought he might get here. I, I thought he would be getting more votes on Twitter. But uh, I think it's obvious why Tim Ream and Menor Solomon are getting the majority of them. And Menor Solomon has won this poll. At the end of the show, I'm going to share who I believe is a Fulham Player of the Month for February. But let's now move on and let's go to Facebook. And I have several Facebook groups that I sent this to. And I'm just going to share the comments from the Fulham supporters. So. This one actually comes from the Facebook group of older Fulham fans. So I'm going to go through what the Fulham supporters in this group were sharing. Tony Green, he says, Menor. Paul Moore, Tim, but Solomon to encourage him to stay. Brian Pierce says, Reem. Kevin O'Hagan, William. So we have someone saying William. Leslie Bourne Moan, Solomon for impact. But Reem for steadfastness. So looks like that would be co Fulham player of the month. That's interesting. Dave Freeman says definitely Tim Reem. A lot of people saying Tim Reem. Wayne Bradford, Tim Reem. Chris Harris, Tim Reem. Joe Grimwood, Reem. Roger Horrell, Tim Reem. Terry Language, Tim Reem. He has been absolutely brilliant. Mark Newman says, Menor Solomon at the moment, player of the season, though? Tim Ream. Okay. And Allen says, has to be Tim Ream. So that's on the older Fulham fans Facebook page. Very interesting there. Now I'm going to go to another Facebook page, and there's only one comment here, and it's from Jake Palmatier. It says, has to be Tim Ream. Now let's go to the Fulham Fan Zone. And shout out to Chris Davidson. Does a great Facebook group there. This is from Richard Prescott. All as a team. And I understand that that's why I mentioned that in the beginning. You could look at this as team player of the month. You know, not just one player. I understand that. But we're going through this exercise. Daniel Rose says Leno for me. So I have another person saying Leno. Frank Beckett says, all the boys, all number one, come on, you whites. And this is from our friend Kamal. Easy. Menorah Solomon, four stunning goals and four important consecutive matches. However, I'd like to put the whole team forward as a player of the month, but that ruins the exercise. Very good point, Kamal, but thank you for sharing that. Great stuff. Okay, finally, there's one more group and this is actually on the cottage talk facebook page i have a couple of comments they're both for tim ream from wayne bradford and andy ford so it's very interesting that 
on the Twitter poll, the results are much more in favor of Manor Solomon. But when you look at the Facebook group, you do have all four representatives that we have in the Twitter poll, but it does lean much more towards Tim Rain. And that's very interesting. I could see both sides of this. But coming up next, I'm going to share who I think is Fulham Player of the Month for February. Okay, to end this episode and our first episode of Fulham Player of the Month, and this is for February, I'm going to share who I think is Fulham Player of the Month. And this might surprise some, but I'm going with Tim Ream. I think Tim Ream, without Tim Ream, Fulham are not where they are on the table right now. I've said that about Bern Leno, but I think it has more to do with Tim Ream. Tim Ream, without his pass, without his reading of the game against Brighton Hove Albion, you don't get that victory. You don't get the goal from Menorah Solomon. In so many of these matches, the clearance is off the line in the last match in, in the FA Cup. Without Tim Ream, you don't progress in the Cup. You don't get points. For me, it starts with Tim Ream. He is, in my mind, Fulham Player of the Month. You can make the argument. I would say after that, I would go with Menor Solomon because his goals have been vital for Fulham. But if I'm looking overall, I have to go with Tim Ream. And when we get to Player of the Season, he obviously is going to be a candidate. And I'm going to make the argument that he should be playing for Fulham for another season or even after that. As long as his legs can hold up and it doesn't cause an issue against other attackers, I think Tim Ream should be part of Fulham Football Club. Dare I say starting. I think he should be starting next season as long as he's physically up for it because he is making up for it with his knowledge, his experience. And we're seeing that in other sports over here. I know it here with the New England Patriots with Tom Brady. No one thought Tom Brady could play until he's 45. But you know what? He was able to do it because of his experience. Basically, as he would say, he knows now all the answers to the test. Tim Ream knows all the answers to the test. He knows what's coming. He can be able to stop the danger before it's happening. And he can also make the key pass to start Fulham going forward. So that's why he is so vital. That's why he is my Fulham Player of the Month for the month of February. Okay. Well, listen, this has been great to do. I just wanted to try out a new concept. I am going to do it again next month. As always, I just want to thank everyone for watching and listening to Cottage Talk. This is a podcast only, and I will be doing several just like this. But I, we will also be doing many live shows, and I will be having a lot of shows with co-hosts. During the week, it's harder to get co-hosts to join me, to be honest with you. And I do like doing shows sometimes by myself, so I hope you're enjoying that too. We will have a mix and match with our co-hosts, and I hope you're enjoying listening and watching all of them. I can't say enough for all of them that have helped Cottage Talk be what it is. If it's not for them, Cottage Talk doesn't continue on all these years. So I want to thank all of my co-hosts for helping Cottage Talk be where it is. And that's just how I want to end this show. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Cottage Talk. As always, please do subscribe on YouTube and Apple Podcasts. It does help other phone supporters find us. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. My name is Russ Goldman. Thank you as always for watching and listening to Cottage Talk, now part of the TalkSport Fan Network.